does the land title survey specification or ALTA survey specification require a surveyor to do about easements? It's a good question. We're going to try and answer it in this video. So before we get in to the actual answer, we need to under understand a couple terms, right? So I'm going to give you some, some quick definitions. What's a land title survey or an ALTA survey? It's a special kind of survey that a land surveyor does, usually shows some, to some topographic information, some utilities. It's got a boundary survey on it. It's typically provided to a lender because a lender wants to remove some exceptions to title insurance coverage. So special survey that a land surveyor does for a lender. Okay, that's what it is. So what's an easement? A simplest definition I can think of for an easement is it's a right to use the land of another person. Okay, so it's not you don't own the land, but you have a right to, to do something on the land or to use the land in a certain way. Okay, a really common example is an easement for access. So you can travel over the you know, travel over a driveway, for example, or an easement for utilities. So you've got the right to put an underground pipe on somebody else's property. Those are, those are pretty common. Okay, so what do uh, the people that request a land title survey, what do they want to know about the easements that impact a parcel? Why do they care? Well, they care because easements are in, uh, an important way that a property gets burdened, right? So, for example, just give you a quick example. I had a guy that bought a, a piece of property in the Bay Area and it had a custom home on it. He wanted to put a big old giant pool in his backyard. And he couldn't do that because most of his backyard was in what we call conservation easement, which means you, you can't build on it. And so easements have a really important effect or influence on what you can do with a piece of property. They, they influence the value of a piece of property. And so that's why the lender wants to know. They want to know what kind of easements burden a piece of property. It, it, it impacts the value. So... When you're going to do a land title survey, what do you have to give the surveyor when it, when it comes to easements? Okay. You got to give them two things. You got to give them copies of the easements that burden the parcel. Okay. And then you have to give them a copy of any easements that benefit the parcel. That's what the survey spec says. Okay. Now I don't want to get into, get into the weeds on that. Just understand that you can have easements over your property. Okay. So that's a right that somebody else has to use your property or you can't have easements on another person's property that benefit your parcel, okay? Or you can you can have both, actually, okay? So you got to give the surveyor both kinds of easements, okay? So once you give the, the land surveyor that information, what does the specification for land title surveys require the surveyor to do, okay? I'm going to give you five things that the land surveyor has to do. And if you're paying for a land title survey, you want to make sure that your surveyor is doing this. So what do they need to do? They need to show the location and width and recording information of all plottable easements. What does that mean? Okay, plottable means the surveyor can map it. He can put it on the ground, right? So if the surveyor can put the easement on the ground, if he can map it out, the spec requires him to do that. He's got to show where it's at. He's got to show the width, if it's a strip easement, and he's got to show the recording information. So what's the document ID number for the, the document, the deed that, that got recorded that created the easement? Okay, they need, also need to include a summary of each easement that's listed in the title report. So even if they can't map the easement, some easements can't be mapped, uh, if, even if they can't map the easement, they need to provide a summary of that easement on their survey that's usually done in a note section. Okay, so every easement that's listed in the title report should get a summary on the land title survey. Okay, and then I'm just going to, I'm going to give you three other things that the surveyor needs to do in relation to easements. He needs to note if the easements, if an easement can't be mapped. Or if it's what we call a blanket easement, he needs to note that on the survey. Okay. Or she needs to note that on the survey. They need to know easements that are listed in the title report that don't impact the subject parcel. So sometimes the title company will grab nearby easements that don't actually impact the parcel that, that the, the survey is being done on. The surveyor needs to note that those exceptions should get removed. Those easements should get removed from the title insurance policy. And then finally, if the surveyor sees evidence on the ground that an easement's been abandoned or no longer being used, the specification says he has to note that on the, or he or she has to note that on the survey. So there's quite a bit there and we didn't, we didn't cover it all. There's some other, other things that you need to do about easements on a survey, but that's the bulk of it. Okay. That's the main part. So just kind of to review, what does a surveyor have to do about easements on a land title survey? He's got to map them if he can and he's got to, so he's got to show them on the survey. He's got to give you a summary about every easement, whether he can map it or not. And then if there's special things that come up about an easement, you know, it's, it looks like it's been abandoned or it's a blanket easement or it doesn't belong in the title report, the surveyor is supposed to tell you that. 
on the survey. So if you've got a land title survey and it doesn't have notes about each easement, your surveyor didn't meet the spec and he needs to do that. So work with a good land surveyor and make sure that she gets you everything that belongs on your land title survey.